Hi everybody, this is Saswat and today's lecture you will learn about how to simulate a single phase rectifier using Simulink. So from your MATLAB window you can go to Simulink from this person, Simulink library. After you do that, you'll get something like this, so Simulink library browser. For this, first you need to create a new model, it will be like this and then you have to drag your elements from this library to the space right over here so for this you need a scope it's obvious you can to see the output right here right here and uh, you can go to simscape you'll get all other things the same power systems power electronics you need a diode and you can go to elements to bring a load that is series RLC branch go to sources bring an AC voltage and you can go to measurements and bring a voltage measurement I think that is okay and of course you need a power GUI for these power systems operations ok now you just have to connect okay if the names trouble you like it does to me you can hide it by right click over here go to format and you can just uncheck this one names are gone now you have to just arrange okay let me maximize it you can bring it here this is the diode you can this small pointer I think it's not necessary over here so you just double click it make the forward voltage 0 and here you can uncheck this so it's gone now you can just join it ok now this we need a register only here so double click this one branch type it's RLC we can scroll down to get R and register is 1 ohm by default selected ok now you can flip you can rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise by control shift R so we align this and join and this is also join so our work is over just we need to connect the voltage measurement devices that is the voltmeters so one terminal let's connect it here and the other here now this gives the input voltage similarly we need for output voltage so without going to the Simulink browser again just click it once and hold control and drag it to get another one now to flip it press control plus I ok and uh, this will give us the output voltage ok let me do it a bit fine here we go this is the scope double click this one and I am decorating it we need two in outputs so number of axes is two and in the history increase the limit of last points to say this much it is uh, 15 lakhs ok so now you can join one by one to the outputs this input voltage you can change the amplitude and also you can change the frequency here ok uh, to have a good look just click this fit to view so that you can get a nice figure ok so now to run this you have to click this but it will take a long time so I'm just putting it to 1 and model configuration parameters I'll put the step size to a lower value so that a fine graph will come and the solver let's put this 
the good one is very fast also okay so now let's run it it's over and this is the output now you can zoom the x-axis you can zoom let's see up to this much but and you can see a fine this is the input signal and this is the output which is rectified during the negative half cycle so that's it for this lecture i hope you got it well stay tuned for the next lecture thank you